Welcome back to Tashkid Effects for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Polygon Matic whose current price stands at the 0.8936 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up is down by 0.35 percent and in this video I want to give you the short term and the long term scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the additive structures and the Fibonacci's and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart by giving you a brief of what has been happening here on the polygon matic chart so polygon matic from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side making it to an all time high at around the 2.9 dollar mark in a movement that i'm terming as a higher edu to count one to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we had been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective structure in a movement that I'm terming as a higher edge to have count to to the lower side. And after seeing the low for that higher edge to have count to in that ABC corrective structure, which I believe it has done the minimum that I expected that we've to to the lower side to do. Then now I'm expecting another bounce to the upper side in the formation of a higher edge to have count three before we see a wave four. Then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave five to the upper side and giving you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side at the fib the 1.618 and that perfectly lies at around the 5.1 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I will expect that with three to the upper side to do in the next bull market and that is my long-term scenario that i'm expecting to play out within uh here on the polygon matic chart and because our wave three to the upper side is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave three to the upper side and i believe that is better seen here on the four hour chart so here on the four hour chart you can see i have this editor structure in blue which i believe is a fractal wave within that higher editor wave count three that i have shown you on the daily chart and here on these on the four hour chart we have completed the formation of that first wave of this edu wave structure in blue which is an impulsive wave and because of its impulsive nature i also expected to see fractal waves in formation within that first wave to the upper side and i believe that is what I'm, i have represented over here in this edu wave structure in yellow where i believe the formation of this wave 5 to the upper side completed the formation of that first wave to the upper side and now my primary scenario is that we're in the formation of this second wave to the lower side and getting a little bit into that formation of this second wave so that it can also give us the short term scenarios that we can expect to play out here on the polygon matic chart a second wave is a corrective wave and because of its corrective nature we also expect to see an abc corrective structure over here and i believe that abc corrective structure is what is going to give me the short term scenarios that i'm expecting over here and i have two possible scenarios that can play out and i'll start with the one that is giving us a bit of a bullish uh, short term scenario so I can have my first possible scenario here on the polygon matic chart having that uh, movement to the lower side as a massive with a then whatever we have been seeing over here is my with b then i'm expecting another retracement to the lower side in the formation of that with c to the lower side to fully maximize the formation of that higher edit wave count two and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this uh, abc corrective structure over here having seen the law for that with a whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upper side in the formation of this wave B and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the high of that wave A to the low of this, of this wave B that gives me a minimum retracement area to the to the upper side in the formation of this wave B uh, between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts and you can see we have not yet fully maximized the formation of that wave B to the upper side by getting into this target area and that is because we faced a key area of resistance at around the 0.95 dollar mark over here but in case uh, we manage to see a bit of a recovery over here and manage to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.95 dollar mark and also see a retest of that key area of resistance and make a high that is within this uh, target area that i have sketched out over here using the fibonacci's then there are chances that we might have completed the formation of that with B then we can expect an impulsive movement to the lower side in the formation of this with C to fully maximize the formation of that uh, with 2 to the lower side then we can expect another bounce to the upper side in the formation of that with 3 and for us to say that there are still chances of 
fully uh, maximizing the formation of these uh, with B to the upper side and also managed to break above the key area of resistance at around the 0.95 dollar mark. There are key areas on the Fibonacci's that we need to continue to hold and that is because we are seeing a retracement over here after breaking out out of these uh, channel over here and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low that we have down here to that high we need to continue holding above the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 and i can mark that target area which perfectly lies between the 0.88 dollar mark and the 0.83 dollar mark any movements uh, below these uh, target area that i have sketched out over here then that will be giving me the second scenario that i expect to play out but in case we manage to hold above the 0.88 dollar mark and the 0.83 dollar mark there are still chances of having a bullish movement here on the polygon matic chart to fully maximize the formation of these with B before we expect another movement to the lower side in the formation of that with C to the lower side and getting to the second scenario that I'm expecting to play out over here the second one is still an ABC corrective structure but having it as a different wave count having these as my wave A then this is my wave B then in case we lose the, uh, the target area that I've sketched out between the 0.88 dollar mark and the 0.83 dollar mark then that will be a straight sell off over here in the formation of that we've seen to fully maximize the formation of that second wave before we expect another bounce to the upper side in the formation of that with three to the upper side and those are my two possible scenarios that can play out here on the polygon matic chart we can either obey either of those two edu structures and i have shown you the key target areas that we need to continue watching the key area of support at around the 0.88 dollar mark and the 0.83 dollar mark if we lose the 0.83 dollar mark then my this massive abc corrective structure i believe that is what will be the most likely scenario so let's be patient and see how that plays out also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the rsi on the rsi we are trading at around the 44 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side and also to the lower side also taking a look at the MACD on the MACD we have printed a bearish cross but we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the sending momentum so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated